The former chairman of the Special Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property, Oko Obonobla, has been declared wanted. And three Nigerians have been injured in fresh xenophobic attacks in South Africa. This is PLOS Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewike. Very glad you could join us. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, has declared former chairman of the Special Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property, Oko Obonobla, wanted. The ICPC accused Obonobla of failing to honour their invitation over a number of allegations levelled against him, bordering on fraud and corruption. The body said the Nigerian Immigration Service records that had revealed that Obonobla left Nigeria for an undisclosed location on August 17 through the Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos and has not returned since. Joining me to talk about this are two gentlemen, Nabil Obasi, legal practitioner, thank you very much for joining us. And we have another legal practitioner who is also the chairman NBA at Tosa uh, chapter, uh, Ola Dotu Hassan. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, Obunobla is not having the best of times, it seems, from being accused uh, to losing his job and now he's been uh, declared wanted by the ICPC. Depending on who you ask, there seems to be a lot of angle uh, to the story. But one that keeps reoccurring seems to be that this is a witch hunt. The accused seem to hold that view as well. Let me start with you, Dotu. What is your Take. Is it a witch hunt? Well, I believe uh, this is a case of uh, a, you know, a definition of where we are as a nation. The kind of uh, characters that we have behind the past. Who do we, uh, you know, do we do due diligence before appointment? Is there any um, uh, preview or? knowledge of the kind of person and this is just a scenario of open no plan it's not you know with this uh, uh, you know this is not a new information we've always been abreast with the fact that this work issue has always come to the fore before his removal and all that, that it, it took the government some, some level um, some um, you know uh, it, you know high uh, uh, complicity in taking a due action earlier not even now that the man is now a uh, a fugitive because it's now be, he's been declared wanted and uh, I we believe this is not a witch hunt. It all uh, it owes on our on our law enforcement agent now to now scoop him out anywhere he is. That okay, leads through the through the Interpol and every other uh, means that that really let him come forward and uh, uh, prove his innocence if if actually he is. Your impressions. Um what do you make of the school of thought? Even the accused himself says it's an effort to, you know, that was the, the last time he spoke, that, sometime last year, that it's an effort to clamp down on his efforts to fight corruption. So I, I wouldn't think it's a, it's a witch hunt because a witch hunt means that you are, you know, chasing somebody, for, you know, chasing somebody with malicious intention. But... If he's saying it's a witch hunt, he should make himself available. If he says it's a witch hunt, I mean, he should make himself available so that his innocence could be proved. Uh, if he comes around and then um, if he perhaps declares where he is for the federal government of Nigeria to come get him, his innocence will be proved. But why so, do you think he's delaying appearing before the ICPC? If, if he doesn't have any case to worry about, shouldn't he appear before a body that has been set up by the president to investigate allegations against him and maybe uh, exonerate him if he doesn't have any case to answer? That's actually my worry. Because I'm just, I'm just thinking to myself that if you really don't have any skeleton in your cover, why would you run? Avail yourself of uh, avail yourself, you know, uh, to the law. Let them take their course. Let them know that, uh, let them know that you're innocent I mean, if 
he comes around and if 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 he avails himself before the law for the law to take uh, their cause on him and they find him innocent, then I, 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 don't, I don't think he needs to run. There are so many ways we can take this conversation, but we'll just try as much as we can to gather what we can in a time available. Now, let's look at the allegations. Among them is abuse of authors. We also have falsification of records, um, going beyond the purview of the panel that was uh, um, constituted by the presidency. Mm -hmm. We also have the issue of uh, the certificate. We'll come to that. You alluded to it earlier. We'll come to that in a bit. But for the allegations, do you think there is truth in it? Because it, remember it started with um, his um, colleagues in that same panel, the other four members of that yeah. panel, you know, writing a petition against him, uh, this, um, pointing that he, saying he is high-handed and all of that. So do you think these accusations have some well, backing? Well, going by the antecedent of uh, his person while he was serving as uh, um, under the panel he was appointed to, uh, one could prove beyond reasonable doubt that uh, Hovner Obla was acting or trivirus, not just of the panel but of the law. You know, sometimes the way he goes about his uh, recovery, the way his active attitude and uh, everything is just more or less trying to, um, you know, um, uh, over sensationalize the D is duties, and that on its own uh, the, uh, diminish that purpose. And at the end of the day, uh, we are unable to even fight corruption. But more or less, we've been able to to, uh, to 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 promote corruption because when you are a corruption uh, um, fighter at this level, we see him as a one more corruption one monger. He's just more or less like a town crier and always in the purview of the media to just say one or two things. And that in its own shows how empty. But this man did not just wake up and was appointed into such a sensitive position. The vice president, who a lot of persons hold in high esteem, was acting president as at the time this panel was constituted. And between that time and now, is it that there is nothing that the panel has been able to achieve that could be pointed at, this is what this panel was able to achieve. Let's scrutinize it. Was it uh, corruption um, uh, shrouded, or it is something that, that the, the, the mandate that they were given was proven to be well, right? Well, that's an issue. I, I, I initially faulted the, the, the panel itself, because the panel has no reason, because they clash uh, to Section 6 of the Nigerian Constitution, where we have the, the, the judiciary, why would a panel be constituted to, for seizures and arrests? And uh, at the end of the day, um, there will be no proof of uh, innocence of whoever the panel is running after. It more or less, it's more or less seen as an attack dog of the, of, 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 of the uh, incumbent administration. So, but in, on its own part, you know, further deepened that uh, laxity and that uh, taint on that administration because we have the EFCC, we have the ICPC. When we don't have institution, and we are always after building individualism, and that is one of the key factors that is derailing our governance structure. So until we begin to hold our institution of government accountable, that the, we, we, you know, the, 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 the panel ought not to be up an issue. Some, some, some of the, there are some, some other panel of, uh, of presidential uh, and the corruption panel that are always there. At the end of the day, they remain a lame duck because well, nothing the, the, is, good Is it, is it then out. possible? Is it then possible? You talked about a clash of purpose. You have other institutions yes. that are also fighting corruption. Then is it possible that um, we're seeing a scenario similar to what is with the police force and the police service commission, mm -hmm. where one is saying, it is my responsibility to recruit, and the other is saying, no, it's not my responsibility to recruit. So is it possible that that clash in purpose is, and the seeming overreaching of Obonobla is part of his travels? Let me ask you, uh, Noble. Okay, uh, I'll, to, to the best of my knowledge, I wouldn't think uh, the, uh, the, the overreaching would be the reason for his travels. Yeah, because if the president has appointed him to carry out a special task, then it's, 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 it's meant to be seen that he 
kind of has powers to carry out those tasks. But the Regardless, clash now, the clash is, yes, um, he mentioned, he alluded yes, to read earlier. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's meant to be that he has a specific uh, responsibility, which is, which is different from what, you know, uh, from the functions of the judiciary in terms of, you know, uh, persecuting uh, offenders and getting them arrested. So uh, I wouldn't think that would, I wouldn't think that would, you know, come to play here because if he's doing his job very well, I don't think there wouldn't be, there would, there would be any need for the other, you know, for the ju judiciary or any arms of, of government to want to come to him or for any individual to, you know, perhaps write petitions against him. So I feel it's a, it's a matter of uh, him up on up that doing the right thing. I mean, if, if he does, if, if he did the right thing, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying he, I don't, I'm not saying he did the wrong thing, uh, you know, like, I'm not saying perhaps he's carrying out his uh, activities in, uh, in, um, in nefarious ways. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, put that for, but I'm just saying that if the right things are being done, I don't think there would be any need for people to want to, you know, flash, you know, uh, light on the roles and responsibility of his um, appointment. Uh, while you're responding to that, I, I don't know if you have a thought to add to that. Why are you responding to that? Just respond to that first. Well, I, I, I still think that um, this should give the, uh, a, a sigh of trying to um, really determine how best do we begin to fight corruption. This corruption of the two guys seems too overwhelmed and um, too overwhelming. And looking at the scenario, the the it's more of uh, a a a direct. Some of the, so let me let, let me let me intervene. Some of the um, allegation is that he was going beyond the Ultra mandate virus. of the panel. Yes, he was virus. yes he was going to seize properties. There was even a court uh, instances that of court cases a, where the yeah. court ruled that seizing of property is not part of the mandate of that panel. Yeah. So that was why I was asking, yeah, was, was he overreaching? And yes, now that was why I said. It was more or less conflicting with the constitution. You know, you you don't reach yourself to to the extent of uh, taking over property without a due um, judgment of the courts, without due process of the judiciary taking. Before you get to the seizure of seizure of property, you must have identified the causal link of that property to a particular crime committed. You must have looked at the men's rails and the actors' rails of the person in, involved in such a crime. The parties to those cases must have been properly established. Defense, fair hearing would have been given to the other party. So, but when all this is not done, and you just have this um, uh, this despotic. Uh, uh, a style of 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 just a post style of 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 you just trying to to prove the whole world right that yes you are acting you want to do this is more or less um, you know is 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 executive recklessness it's not just acting ultra virus but he has been able to really solve the the, 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 he's been able to achieve something that is solving the the democracy of the Nigerian nation so there's a need for a review, a forensic analysis of the panel itself. There is a need that should this panel still continue or there should be disbanded and dissolving the panel for a proper there should we need to fight corruption? Yeah, the, 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 the panel Definitely. has been dissolved as at this time. Yeah, as no, a, no, the, no, the president. No, we are talking about the panel itself. You know, it's a as constituted yeah, yeah, by as constituted, Yes, yeah, it's been dissolved. But we are talking about the panel duty, the, the framework of the panel. If there is a need for presidency to review. Okay, should this panel be the administrative mother body to EFCC? ICPC, all other agencies, to the police, that will act as an interface on corruption fighting. But that doesn't seem and to be the focus of the investigation by the ICPC. The yeah. focus of the ICPC is on its own. Is the on its own. Case, no, no, so it is know, not on the know, mandate. The, the ICPC uh, duties are to, to, regular, uh, are to regulate officials of government, especially those that are serving. So that is the duty of ICPC. That is the, the, the authority that is vested with the powers of investigating officials of government. So the, 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 what the president only recommended that the panel investigate and report back. So he himself has jumped, uh, has, uh, jumped the, the gun by, by, by being on the run. And that proves a whole lot of, on him 
even if it's caught tomorrow, that on its own is an offense, obstruction of justice. So that on its own is an offense. So we believe that if he has a case to answer, let, let him be, 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 be brought to book, let the government do their job, at least the, the, the way government went ahead to to, 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 to arrest Evans and all the all the But hiring. declaring him wanted, is there, because he is apparently not in the country. And the ICBC is saying, because he has failed to appear before them repeatedly, they've issued a warrant for his arrest. But is it necessary, considering the fact that he is not in the country, and so at the time he left, he was a free man. No one knows where he is as at the moment. Can he be... Um, what is the word now, investigated in absentia without defending, you know, having the opportunity to defend himself? No, I don't think so. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the law even stipulates that uh, a, an accused has to be given, uh, he has to be given an opportunity to defend himself. So he cannot be investigated in absentia. He needs to come back. So that's the, mo that's the major reason why they have declared him wanted. Because they, they want all the... Um, all, all the uh, law, inf law enforcement in, in every country wherever they think he would be, they, 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 they are placing uh, the law a enforcement. Red alert on they are, him. Yes, they are placing a red alert on him so that they would. So as soon as they, they identify him, they can bring him back to Nigeria to face uh, for for them to investigate him. So, so right. So they cannot investigate him in his absence. That's the major reason. Do you why see they, him coming back? Uh, I wouldn't know. No, I very. Wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say, I one wouldn't. key thing is that. Um, Nigerians has a way of uh, a way of doing their thing. You can just see him in the tomorrow with throngs of uh, people that do <laughs> usher him to EFCC or ICPC tomorrow. But be that as it may, uh, as a lawyer, I believe he would, if he sees the whole lot of responsibilities carrying on himself, he should, as a matter of priority, put. Is um, you know you know you know you know try and come back and defend himself. He has that right, even if the panel find him guilty and all that. The the the, the panel itself finding him guilty is still subject to court to a, the, the, a final court of competent jurisdiction to prosecute him. So the the ICPC itself is just to recommend a a report. So it is upon that report that it will be, 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 be sanctioned for prosecution. So at the moment, he still has a whole lot to defend himself. I'm sure if the allegations are, are, are not prima facie to hold him accountable, yes, he, he should also be ready to face the consequence of his action. So that is where we stand at the moment. All right, let me ask this question. The whole YEG certificate issue. A panel by the House of Representatives found that in their investigation discovered that he has um, a fraudulent certificate and it brought um, a representative of YEG who also authenticated the fact that there was something flawed with the certificate that was issued, what was presented by Opunopla. My question is, if this is indeed true, how did we miss it? This man has been in the public eye for most of his um, um, political life. He was an activist, a lawyer who fought for um, uh, people's rights. He was a one-time governorship candidate. Einek missed it. The president saw him fit to appoint into such a sensitive position. Is something wrong? that they did not scrutinize this man's background properly, who should we be pointing a finger at? And this is not the first time. It's a repeated case. Let me take your thoughts on it. Well, it, it, it shows a level of um, um, complicity when we are taking on to appointing um, persons that we so believe are competent. You know, most of these appointments are political job for jobbers who just believe after election, what is my price? What do I gain? They are hoped they might have, might have been, it was, might have earned this appointment on the premise of political promise. Either is competent, either is savvy, either is, he has anything upstairs, no one cares. Then who so, should, why we, is he now the, being the, put the, on the, the chopping board? The bulk of the blame still boils down on the appointor. 
If the appointor has done, has done his due diligence, that is the presidency, either as acting president or, or, or Professor Yemi Oshibaju or under President Muhammad Ibrahim, his entire workload rests within the presidency. He's an offshoot, is whatever he does in his capacity, is acting in the name of Mr. President. So he, he, I believe the blame still goes back to the appointor. That for this, it shows how naive in dealing with some critical issues. Now it's going to be a major point that whoever that is coming for an appointment, the DSS, the BOAEC, everybody must have conducted is, their is own that, Is that going to happen in this country? That is because to, it, it seems, sorry to interrupt you, it seems that when it becomes, I'm not pointing any fingers, but it seems curious the timing of some of these uh, allegations of fraud and sub, um, what's the other word now? Um, um, financial impropriety of certificate forgery. The timing always seemed to be shady somehow. Your thoughts on that before we wrap up? Okay, so, uh, so you know, you, as earlier mentioned, you talked about him being in the eyes of the public, you know, prior before his appointment as a, a, a prior before his presidential appointment. I, yes, I agree totally with you on that, but then the level of responsibility which he is handling and the personality of individuals which he is dealing with right now calls for, for, calls for more scrutiny into his background. So as a them, perhaps he could be an activist. Maybe he's not really he, maybe he wasn't shaking the government enough. Maybe he could be um, a uh, governorship. governorship aspirant. Maybe they didn't find him as... He was key in creating some political parties. Okay. Some of them are now deformed. And exactly. I mean, so all of it this. He was not a major contender, kind of. So there's no spotlight on him as at that time. But now he's not on the fore. He's not on the fore and he's stepping on toes. And people are, 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 are getting pissed off with some of the things he did. So obviously he needs to be on the spotlight. Some, some of these guys then some of these guys would have taken it upon themselves to go and dig 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 deep into his What lessons should we take from this? I think the lesson we should take from this is transparency and accountability. So whatever you're doing in this country, you should you should know that you should do things the proper way. Because at the end of the day, if you're not doing it the proper if you're not doing it the proper way, at the end of the day, you might you know you know it might just be caught off tra off track where you did not expect. Thank you very much, gentlemen, yeah, for you. coming on the program. It's appreciated. All right, we'll go on a short break. And when we return, we'll be speaking on fresh xenophobic occurrences involving Nigerians again in South Africa.